Jumping back to the North Shore of Kauai, we'll finish off our tour at Tunnels Reef, Makua. It is an amazing spot and everyone, every surfer out there, all the time when they're out in the water, are always thinking, sharks! <laughs> Where are the sharks? Are the sharks going to hurt me or the sharks aren't going to hurt me? I've been diving out at tunnels for almost 15 years and was scuba diving with three big tiger sharks the day before Bethany Hamilton got bit a number of years back. Tunnels is quite a unique spot because it's an old volcano that sunk down below the waves. So when you surf at tunnels, you're surfing actually on the edge of a volcano. But there's lava tubes that lace all the way through the reef at tunnels. These are naturally formed by the giant gas bubbles when the volcano erupted and then cooled. Well, the lava tubes down there are quite unique and they're large, some of them the size of a small house. But that attracts a lot of the sharks because the sharks like to sleep in those lava tubes. The reef sharks are one of the ones that can actually sleep during the daytime without swimming. They don't need to pump water through their gills. And so there's a lot of reef sharks that hang out at tunnels and sleep in the caves. And they're real mellow. We dive with them all the time, go through, say hi to them. I actually at one point in time was in a cave with 20 eight foot reef sharks breeding and looking straight up out of the top of the cave and you could see people's fins going overhead, surfing up above. It's really a unique spot. Tunnels is amazing. Lots of big fish there. It's one of my favorite places to go spearfish, as you can see by this big omelu that I got on the outside reef. One of the other things about tunnels is it's a turtle cleaning station and there's lots of small sea turtles there. Like this beautiful hawksbill turtle that's making an evasive maneuver when he saw me scuba diving. I think he thought I was probably a big shark. So what happens is the tiger sharks, Galapagos sharks, and occasional great white sharks, they come into tunnels hunting the monk seals and the sea turtles. The reef at Tunnels is also home to thousands of other creatures, like this array of fish that zoom in and out of the caves and rocks searching for food. One of the more beautiful creatures out at Tunnels I see from time to time is this gorgeous eagle ray. If you swim very slowly, you can actually fly right next to it like a butterfly. The beautiful Moorish idol you see here actually eats sponges. This helps clean the reef so corals can grow. Many of these fish that you see here, especially the butterfly fish, eat live coral. Once again, if the coral dies, so will the fish.
the sharks out there don't bite people on purpose. We've proven that over and over. I've dove and surfed with them many, many, many times. If they were out there hunting people, I would have been dead a long time ago, and probably half the people watching this movie would have been dead a long time ago. On average, only five people a year get killed by accidental shark bites. But when a tiger shark or a Galapagos shark or one of the other sharks are chasing a sea turtle or a big fish, then the turtles often will zoom right underneath the surfers and hide under their surfboards or continue underneath the surfers and go right up onto the reef to get away from being pursued by a big tiger shark. So the sharks are snapping at the turtles as the turtles are zooming through everyone out in the water surfing. Well, sooner or later, someone accidentally gets bit. That's what happened with Bethany. And you notice that on all of these accidental shark bites, the shark doesn't come back and try to consume or eat the person as a general rule. Sharks are one of my favorite creatures in the world and they need to be protected for all of us surfers because they eat all of the dead and dying creatures in the sea. If we were to kill all the sharks and we walked down the beach from Pipeline, Sunset to Honolulu, it would be dead, stinky fish carcasses piled up on the beach. We wouldn't even be able to go out and surf because the water would be so polluted with bacteria. So the sharks are the garbage disposals. They run around and eat all the, the wounded creatures and all of the sick creatures. So we need to have them in our ecosystem. And we also need to understand they don't eat people and kill people for food, but people are gonna get bit accidentally from time to time.